to the tail, to the tail. Ain't easy, I can tell. Hey guys, so today we're going to go ahead and install a non-LED steering wheel on a C7. Part number would be VZ102113. So it is full regular carbon fiber with the ring um, in red and then red sitching, red carbon inlay. So you could fully customize this, change the colors of the carbon fiber. You could also get it in honeycomb, forge, matted, uh, the, letter, the leather, you could get it in different options. Um, just to fit in with your car, this one goes really well with the red and black C7, so this is a really good option for that. This is the default look, so this one is in stock, ready to go. If you do want to go ahead and customize it, it would take about three to seven weeks, depending on the customization. So if it is like forged carbon, honeycomb, or, you know, like a crazy, uh, selection of colors then it would take a little bit longer so we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery as always but you want to make sure your steering wheel is straight it's a 10 millimeter socket and we're only going to go ahead and disconnect the negative if you do want to go ahead and take off the positive and negative you could go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and use the allen key to pop off the airbag this one is pretty tight so you do sometimes need like a help to holding one side to pop out the other. There you go. All right. There's a little, this wire is connected to here. And then this one, it's connected here. So these clips are here. For the airbag, you want to pop them up and then you're slowly going to go ahead and start pulling off the connections from the back of the airbag. These are connected to here. This one is connected to here, which I mean, if I pop this off, you can see it, but it's inside the mold. It's pretty locked. Or I'm gonna have to heat it up. So you're gonna use eight millimeter. So once it's loose, you could just take it off with your hands. It might be a little bit hot, depending on how much Loctite it has. That's how tough it's gonna be. You could go ahead and use a lighter and wipe it off and then reapply a new Loctite. And then the steering was off. All right, so I went ahead and, and marked the spot where I want the center bolt to mark with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the trim, which you just need like a flat head to pop off. I'm gonna disconnect these buttons. These buttons right here. This. And then you have these two connections.
And then you have the other side. I'm gonna pull these up. They literally did it so tight, so you don't get Where? anything off. So I disconnected these buttons. And then I disconnected it from the connectors to the paddle shifters. These. And then I disconnected it from these buttons with these. Now you have to deattach the whole harness. Get a magnified glass. You take off this mounting point for the airbag. To you. Now we're gonna take off all the bolts. Just has a lot of bolts. The four bottom ones, they're smaller. You're gonna use T20. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect and bolt in the bottom bolt, the bottom buttons. And they basically just slide in place. You don't want to overdo it because then you're going to break the plastic. So after you're done bolting it, you're going to see that's hugging around the trim. Now we're going to put the paddle shifters back on. See the hole? I'm gonna make sure they feel good. They're in place, not loose. These two. Now we're gonna put the harness back on. Then you're gonna put this wire back in here. Well, not back in here, but in your new steering wheel. It's a little bit out. And then this goes in here. And you just follow the mold of, this, of, the, of the steering wheel. I'm gonna give it a nice tug just to make sure everything is like connected well. Now we're gonna connect these back on.
You want to give it a nice pull. Everything's supposed to be aligned. Like the airbag has a spring and it's gonna go in here. You're just gonna follow the shape of the plastic. You have three. One, two, three. Two of them are in the airbag. One of them you have to like take it off, put it on. So now that you're done uh, swapping everything to the new carbon fiber steering wheel, so you have these springs. So basically like Sometimes they either stay on there or it'll come off and then that's going to go in here. So this is the same thing as this. And they're all going to clip in here. So I could take this off and then I could just mount it here. And then when I put the air back on, this is going to be going into that entrance. So this connection is going to go in this connection right here which you're not gonna be able to see once I put the steering wheel on. All right, so I'm gonna connect this back on. After you're done putting the center bolt, you are going to plug this in. The, the horn, you're gonna plug it in. Now you're gonna plug in the airbag. Now we're gonna connect the battery. So that's it, that's a wrap on the installation of VZ102113. Pretty easy, not that complicated. Anybody could do it. Um, if your body shop can't do it, you guys could follow this tutorial DIY and do it yourself. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, leave comments below, follow our Facebook groups, Instagram, hashtag the product number if you do go ahead and purchase it and do the install.